from us to you. A word from our sponsor, Pressview. If you want to be yourself and say what you want to say without the fear of being censored, join us on www.pressview.com. We are also a social networking site, providing unadulterated and uncensored platform for communications with a few staff writers targeting some of today's breaking issues. Have exciting stories? Post them at www.pressview.com. That is www.pressview.com. John McCain, enemy of the American people. You know, when Michael Hastings died, and I'll say it just like I said it a couple of so, more than two years ago, when he was killed, when he was killed in that auto accident, and it wasn't an accident. I had stated, I did a program on the day of or the day after that indicating that the CIA killed that guy the same way that the MI6 killed Princess Diana. Now, this program will not be about Michael Hastings, but it will be about Senator John McCain. And it is based upon an article entitled John McCain, Rand Paul's is now working for Vladimir Putin. That was a statement from John McCain today indicating that Rand Paul, Senator Rand Paul, the son of Ron Paul, is working for Vladimir Putin. John McCain, I've stated before, is like a senile idiot. And mainstream media, they're always flocking to this guy to get words from him to see, well, what is Senator McCain going to say about this? They've done that for many years. The guy has ran for president on two or three occasions. I think at least three occasions. And he's never won. So he's a cantankerous Arizona senator. And now he come up with this absurdity about Rand Paul and Vladimir Putin. I've stated before, and I've stated this for years now, Vladimir Putin is not what John McCain, Lindsey Graham, and a host of others within the U.S. Congress are stating and saying that he is. I ask this question to all of those who differ, and to all of them, none of them will answer this question, or they'll try to deflect and go somewhere else with it. How many nations has Russia invaded in the last 15 years? Now I ask this question. How many nations has the United States invaded in the last 15 years? Was it not John McCain who sided with Bush's lies about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? Was it not John McCain who was beating the drums of war? against Iran? Was it not John McCain who talked of a hundred year war or perpetual war? But yet, some of you aren't too sharp enough because you will echo, you will repeat what John McCain is saying. And John McCain is the last person you want to lean on and use to support this whole anti-Russian situation. I've stated in previous programs of how historically Russia aided the United States against imperialist Britain and imperial France. So this article states that After the Kentucky senator objected to a bill advancing Montenegro's push for NATO membership, McCain lost his cool and accused his colleague of being a Putin operative. You know, a few years ago, it was John McCain 
it was more than four years ago, probably at least five years ago, if not even more than that. I think it was even more than that. But it was John McCain who stated that, well, actually, I'll tell you when it was. It was actually in 2012. That's when it was. John McCain stated that Vladimir Putin had better be careful because the same thing that happened to Muammar Gaddafi can happen to him. That was a threat from this U.S. Senator John McCain, a threat against Putin. Now, we know that in Libya, at least all of you should know, any of you who have been following this channel for several years, you know I covered Libya extensively. Muammar Gaddafi and some of his sons were brutally murdered, along with thousands and thousands of citizens and civilians and soldiers in Libya by NATO. NATO is not good. It's not a good thing. If they were to be able to have their way, they would be doing what Imperial Britain, Imperial France, and other Imperial powers of Western Europe were doing hundreds of years ago. But they cannot do it singularly now. They have to come together in a league, together as a group, in this case, NATO, in order to do what they want to do, in order to establish their so-called new order, their new world order. So Montenegro is a country in the east, not that far from Russia, and closer to Ukraine, to that area if, as far as geographically. But this is about Montenegro joining NATO. NATO, as I said, is not a good thing. It's a bad thing. So the long simmering war between Senator John McCain and Rand Paul boiled over on Wednesday when the Arizona lawmaker directly accused his colleague of working for Russian President Vladimir Putin. Now, uh, why did John McCain become so upset with Putin in 2012? One of the main reasons was because Russia at that time decided to declare all NGOs as foreign agents. All of them have to register as foreign agents. Why? Because some of those NGOs from the West were plotting things and situations in Russia. They were plotting to overthrow or disrupt the lives of people in Russia, as they had done and were doing and are doing in many other countries as NGOs, non-governmental organizations. That is what started the whole situation with the so-called phony Arab Spring in Egypt and in other areas. So while speaking from the Senate floor in support of a bill advancing Montenegro's bid to join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization known as NATO, McCain noted objection from his Kentucky colleague saying that if you oppose the measure, you are achieving the objectives of Vladimir Putin. Now that sounds like that old cantankerous old man. You're trying to dismember this small country, which has already been the subject of an attempted coup. Now, McCain is a is a noted liar. He lied about the weapons of mass destruction. He lied and he associated himself self with the terrorists in Syria, as well as Hillary Clinton associated herself with the terrorists in Libya. And we see the state of affairs right now in Libya. You had NATO bombing a black city in Libya called Tawarga. And even right now, Tawarga is still facing hell. But NATO bombed that city to help the terrorists from Misrata to go in and clean all of the blacks out of that city. And then said that no one will ever live here in this city again. It was an all black city in Libya. That's right, Libya, 
black city, Tawarga. But that was done under Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, your so-called first African-American black president. He did it. He and Hillary Clinton. And yet some of you will forgive him for doing that. I don't. I will never forgive him for that, ever. So, you are achieving, John McCain stated, the objectives of Vladimir Putin trying to dismember this small country which has already been the subject of an attempted coup. Now, can you believe John McCain? No. Heck no, you cannot believe John McCain. In the Ukraine, the United States paid, according to uh, Victoria Nuland, who was the Under Secretary of State of the United States, paid five billion dollars to sponsor that coup in the Ukraine that caused the deaths of so many people. And you still have warfare occurring in parts of eastern Ukraine right now. That also encouraged Crimea to secede. They voted. The people there voted to secede from the Ukraine and rejoin Russia. In 1957, Crimea was a part of Russia. But Khrushchev, literally, through signing a piece of paper, turned Crimea over to the Ukraine. Now, his wife was Ukrainian. Khrushchev's wife was. So, McCain continued, If they object, they are now carrying out the desires and ambitions of Vladimir Putin. And I do not say that lightly. Now, of course, you've been hearing all of this stuff in the news here uh, over the last few months, demonizing Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is not a demon. He is not all that your Western media is telling you all that he is. You know, remember now, remember, don't forget this, because uh, someone who is a liar they will lie again to you, especially if they get away with it. You remember all the lies about weapons of mass destruction in, in uh, Iraq, New York Times, and other mainstream media. They peddle that lie over and over again. You remember all the lies about Gaddafi is killing his own people. He's killing his peaceful protesters. He's killing them with uh, aircrafts. He's bombing them. All lies. None of that was true. But yet, Many of you, you believed it because you relied on your mainstream media. But had you been here on the Afro Synergy News Channel, you would have known better. But they were lying about all of that. As they are lying right now. So McCain says that Vladimir Putin, and I do not say that lightly, according to McCain. Several moments later, after the 80-year-old senator asked for a unanimous consent, move the bill forward, Paul took the mic to raise his objection before dramatically exiting the room. And to Rand Paul, I commend you for doing exactly that. You have to stand up against these old idiots who are tied in with the military industrial complex, which is not in the best interest of the American people. These perpetual wars, the continual buildup of the military where you expend nearly a trillion dollars every year and you, they wasted more than five trillion, up to six trillion dollars on those wars, phony wars behind this so-called terrorism and the 9-11 attacks. How many times have I said in the past, the mastermind behind that were the Israelis. And then Congress had their investigation of the 9-11 attacks. Really, that was a joke, a doggone joke. Where in that investigation do they talk about building number seven of the trade towers, a 47-story building cascading down on its own without a plane ever striking it? Where? But yet, most American people do not push their Congress on that and about that. So Paul took the mic to raise his objection. That was very good for Rand Paul. In response, McCain began railing against Paul, his voice trembling with anger. 
I note the senator from Kentucky leaving the floor without justification or any rationale for the action he has just taken. The words of John McCain. He went on to say, that is really remarkable that a senator blocking a treaty that is supported by the overwhelming number. Numbers don't matter. That's group think. You know, just because you have the numbers don't mean you're right. Just because you have the numbers to rape someone don't mean you're right. Perhaps 98, at least 98 within the Senate. You know, the Senate is made up of 100 senators. 98 within the Senate. That's groupthink. They are pushing and promoting an agenda that is wrongheaded. At least 98 and of his colleagues would come to the floor and object and walk away. I commend once again Rand Paul. He then directly connected Paul to the Russian government. The only conclusion you can draw when he walks away is he has just he has no justification for his objection to having a small nation be a part of NATO that is under assault from the Russians. The Russians are not assaulting Montenegro. It's not happening. The United States is assaulting the poor people of Yemen. They're assaulting the poor people of Iraq, of Syria, of Libya. And I can go on and name others. Every now and then, assaulting the poor people in Somalia. That list is long. So I repeat again, John McCain now, the senator from Kentucky is now working for Vladimir Putin. Now, McCain is making himself look the fool that he is. Because as I said, Rand Paul is correct about this. He's right about this. I mean, look at NATO. I've done a program on this. Okay, but a, a, a lot of you all, you all don't understand geopolitics, and that is not what move you. You like all the drummer stuff, but no, 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 no. In most cases, no drummer here. Let's deal with the real deal, the things that are really affecting your lives. Okay, but when you look at NATO, NATO. The United States, out of a 900, a little over $900 billion annual budget, the United States contributes more than $650 billion of that itself. Many of the other nations, they don't even pay their minimum 2%. France is one of them. Germany is another one. So, they're taking money out of your pockets. Those are your tax dollars. And when the United States, when the IRS, when the, when, when, when the budget office, when they borrow money, that's debt. They're enslaving you through debt, through federal debt, meaning that if you remain Ameri an American citizen, that you will be enslaved. And there are ways to get the money out of you. Inflation goes way up. In other words, you're paying more and more for goods and services then is your wages rising? In a statement to the Daily Beast, a McCain spokesperson clarified the senator's words. Got to fix it up here. Writing, Senator McCain believes that the person who benefits the most from Congress's failure to ratify Montenegro's accession to NATO is Vladimir Putin. So the hell what? Right is right and wrong is wrong. And Rand Paul did the right thing. Vladimir Putin, whose government has sought to destroy the NATO alliance. NATO is about killing. NATO is about war. That's what it's about. We saw them bombing the hell out of Libya. Little small tiny Libya. And NATO's domain is not even supposed to be in Africa. But they bombed the hell out of that country for eight months. Solid. Around the clock. But NATO's alliance and erode confidence in America's commitment to its allies 
overthrow the daily the duly elected government of Montenegro. Russia hasn't overthrown anything in Montenegro and undermine the democratic institutions throughout Europe. That's BS. Russia is not undermining anyone's democratic institutions. It's not happening. In fact, Russia is more advanced politically than is the United States. The United States is still a baby. I mean, it's not even 300 years old yet as a country. Russia is at least a thousand years old. Okay, Russia has gone through the stages of communism, of capitalism, and now you see where Russia is now. Russia is far more mature than the United States. That's a fact. That's a reality. It is the United States who is struggling. And now they put forward this lie right here that this has something to do with democratic institutions. Now, why did they invade Libya? Why did they in invade Syria, Iraq? They were all pushing this whole democracy, democratic, democratic elected government. They were pushing all that nonsense. But yet, out of all of that, well over a million people slaughtered. Slaughtered. And you all want to close your ears to it. But the facts are the facts. Just like you want to close your ears to what your ancestors did to millions of blacks brought into the Western Hemisphere in slave ships. His office further stated, Senator McCain and certainly the people of Montenegro would appreciate an explanation from Senator Paul as to why he sought to prevent this small, brave country from joining in the defense of the free world. You know, Bush. That's all that old Bush, that old platitude talk, nonsense talk, without any without any substance. What is the substance? If you if you were to dig into the substance of it, what you would see is that the United States and some of its Western European allies have been meddling in those areas close to the border of Russia for years to try to turn those countries against their neighbors. That would be like Russia coming in here, meddling in Mexico to turn Mexico against the United States or Canada against the United States. It's just wrong. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. And John McCain is wrong. In response, Paul avoided the over the top nature of McCain's initial attack. Yeah, over the top. It was stupid. Absurd. Instead, commenting on the policy issue at hand. And that's good. Let's deal with the substance. Currently, Rand Paul indicated, the United States has troops in dozens of countries and is actively fighting in Iraq, in Syria, in Libya, in Yemen, with the occasional drone strikes in Pakistan. Substance. The truth. Substance. Substance. Instead of these old, weak, sick, overused, dead, stale platitudes from the likes of John McCain. In addition, the United States is pledged to defend 28 countries in NATO. It is unwise to expand the monetary and military obligations of the United States, given the burden of our $20 trillion debt. Say it again, $20 trillion debt. And who's paying the lion's share of the NATO expenses? The United States. Out of $900 billion, the United States is paying over $650 billion of that annually. Now, what's wrong with that picture? American people, where are you on this? John McCain. That old fool should have been put out of office. What the hell? I've asked the question before, but I'll do it again. What the hell is the matter with you pale skinned people in the state of Arizona? That old fool should have been voted out of office and retired a long time ago. You are, well, Paul's NATO skeptic words notably echo those of President Trump who ran on backing away from involvement with the alliance, that is the NATO alliance, 
having called it obsolete. It is obsolete. And lamented, lamented how it cost us a fortune. Yes, I've done a whole program about it. I mean, $650 billion a year. Yet, your inner cities are neglected. Your infrastructure, your bridges, your dams are largely neglected. The only thing that mainly is not neglected is the military industrial complex. President Trump talks about we're going to rebuild the military. The military has been fed too much, too much. So I disagree with Trump on that. And I've made that clear. I totally disagree. But you look at the military and the Zionist state of Israel. They get billions, tens of billions of dollars. Obama signed over $38 billion to the Zionist state of Israel. That's additional money in addition to the $3.2 or so billion dollars that the Israeli Zionist Rothschild state get every year. What's wrong with that picture? You have sold your children's future out. Sold your children their future on this nonsense. So the Arizona senator's brusque accusations is the latest controversy to emerge from the Senate floor. A little more than a month ago, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell cut off Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren as she read a 1986 letter from Coretta Scott King suggesting Senator Jeff Sessions actively worked to block the black vote. Well, I agree. She should have been cut off. Coretta Scott King is dead. You know, I, I, I'm not into just totally relying on the words of dead people. You know, there are lots of people living who are doing things and saying things and making things happen right now. But too often we rely on what somebody who's gone on and moved on has said. And sometimes we don't even put it within the context of today, of what's happening right now. So citing a Senate rule against impugning the motive of a colleague, McConnell reprimanded Senator Elizabeth Warren. The majority leader's office did not immediately respond to a request for comment on whether McConnell's plans to similarly punish McCain for suggesting his colleague works for the Russian government. Now, that's not important, really. But what's important is that the likes of John McCain, who are out there on a witch hunt, just like in the time of Joe McCarthy, you know, where he was calling everyone, well, lots of people, communists. They're commies. The commies are coming. Communists. Communists here. Communists there. Communists everywhere. You know? So, you know, Charlie Chaplin left this country, had, was forced to leave this country, and I believe he spent the rest, uh, at, least 20, at, least, at least 20 years in Sweden. I think it was Sweden or Switzerland. I think it was Sweden because he was branded a communist in this country during the Joe McCarthy era. And now we have John McCain, these old fogey idiots who are out here painting people as, oh, he's a Putinist. Again, I ask the question, how many countries in the last 15 years has Russia invaded militarily? How many countries have the United States invaded in the last 15 years? How many? You know, you, you're even hearing this lie about Russia have military personnel stationed in Egypt, close to the border of Libya. Well, Russia denies it. But if they did, so what? Are they killing anyone? Are they? And then ask yourself this question. Where are American troops stationed? Are they killing anyone? Where is the CIA 
and military intelligence forces station. Are they killing anyone or are they just there? So this total demonization of Russia, it's going to get worse. I don't expect it to get, to get any better, but even so, I will still continue to report on it here on the Afro Synergy News Channel. This is T. West with Afro Synergy.